everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. As you can probably tell by the shirt I'm wearing, it's time for a Lakers slash NBA slash playoffs update. Let's get started. I only have a few updates regarding the Lakers, one of which is LeBron will not be playing anymore this season. They are going to keep him out of the games and let him completely recover from his injury back in December. If you recall, on December 25th, Christmas Day, we beat the Golden State Warriors, but it was at a cost. LeBron James was injured, he pulled his groin, and has been recovering ever since. That was the downfall, unfortunately, for the Lakers. LeBron was recently interviewed and he indicated that he felt like they were really, really coming together as a team. He had the time to work with some of the young players. He even gave some credit to Rajon Rondo and indicated that he and Rondo had been working together to bring the young players in and help them become good, strong, seasoned players. And they were just starting to reach their peak when injuries struck the Lakers. LeBron, of course, was not the only one injured, but he was the primary injury that took the wind out of their sails. So nonetheless, LeBron is going to be out for the rest of the season, which is sad because I do enjoy watching LeBron play when I'm watching their games. So from here on out, he's gonna continue his recovery. This was a decision actually that was made by management in order to allow LeBron to have some extra time to really, really be healed and ready for next season. The next player I'd like to talk about from the Lakers is Jonathan Williams. He's number 19. He's 23 years old and he's a rookie. So he's a brand new player. He hasn't had a lot of time on the court until recently. He actually scored 17 points against the Golden State Warriors the other day. And he has been a great help. They've been bringing him in a lot more often, especially because they've been keeping LeBron out. Jonathan Williams has had a lot more time on the court and I think that he is going to be a great asset. He's definitely very, very young and he still has a lot to learn, but I do think with the assistance of some of these more seasoned players on this team, he will get that and he will hopefully learn to play well as a team with the Lakers. I'm looking forward to seeing more of him next season and watching him come together with some of these other young players to make an amazing team. The Lakers also just signed Jemario Jones. He is a rookie. This is his first year playing in the NBA and he played great against the Clippers. We did win a game the other night playing against the Clippers and there were numerous players that played really, really well and he was one of them. This was one of the first games that he was able to play in with the Lakers and I'm looking forward to seeing more of him in the future. Alex Caruso also played great against the Clippers. He had his career high of 32 points in that game, which was awesome. He's someone that I talked about recently and indicated that he has become an amazing player and an amazing asset to this team. I'm so glad they are starting to bring him out on the court so that we can see what a great player he is. Additionally, Contavious Caldwell Pope was an asset during this game against the Clippers as well. He scored 25 points and played amazing. So even without LeBron, the Lakers are sometimes playing really, really amazing, but unfortunately it's hit or miss. And I'm hoping though that while LeBron takes some time to get completely well, that next season these Lakers can come together and play great. As we discussed in a previous video, the Golden State Warriors are number one in the Western Conference as far as moving on to the playoffs are concerned. But some of the players on the Golden State Warriors have had some problems lately. Three in particular, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and Draymond Green. All three of those players were fined for comments that were made about NBA refs, one in particular. His name is Merritt Kogert. He has been an NBA ref for 10 years and he made some calls at a game most recently that the players on the Golden State Warriors felt were completely unfair and inaccurate. Of the three players, Draymond Green received the largest fine in the amount of $35,000. Steph Curry's fine was in the amount of $25,000 and Kevin Durant's fine was in the amount of $15,000. This game took place on March 31st against the Timberwolves. 
At this point in the game, the Warriors were down. The score was 130 to 127, and Kevin Durant made a three-point shot and was clearly fouled. However, the ref indicated that the foul took place prior to the shot. Uh, the players did not agree with that, and because of this, the Golden State Warriors ended up losing the game. Comments were made along the lines of um, the fact that this ref was the MVP of the game because he was the one that allowed the Timberwolves to win. The reason that Draymond Green was fined more than the other players is because he actually tweeted four letters in succession, TD and MK. They felt that Green was making reference to corruption in the NBA regarding a former ref by the name of Tim Donahue, who was a ref for the NBA from 1994 until his resignation in 2007. The FBI claimed that Donahue had bet on games that he had been refing. In 2007, Donahue did plead guilty to multiple charges and um, that led to his resignation. Currently, the top three teams in the Eastern Conference are the Bucks, the Raptors, and the 76ers. And the top three teams in the Western Conference are the Warriors, the Nuggets, and the Rockets. With the playoffs starting on April 13th, we are almost there. There aren't very many games left in the normal season. So we're gonna get through those games. As we are approaching the playoffs, I will update you on the top eight teams in the Eastern Conference and the top eight teams in the Western Conference once again, as we start moving forward into the playoffs. Hopefully the Golden State Warriors can stay under control and not get any more fines, not get any, into any other trouble for anything between now and then because they are in first place in the Western Conference and doing so great. Hopefully, and you know, I do love the Golden State Warriors. As you all know, I really love Kevin Durant as well, um, but I'm really hopeful that they will win the finals this year. I will be watching them. Even though my favorite, the Lakers, are not gonna be making it in, I am gonna still be watching and cheering for the Golden State Warriors. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to continue checking back for playoffs updates and anything that you need to know about new things going on with the Lakers, even though they're not in the playoffs this year.